So in the last episode, we actually managed to pull off a trade for Derrick Rose. We added him to the team, but a lot of things have changed. Julio Okafor is injured, and in today's videos, as you guys see from the title, it's going to be All-Star Weekend, the entire thing, in a small five-minute video. But just to, just to let you guys know, D. Rose has been amazing for us since we picked him up. He's been a leading scorer multiple times, putting up 20 points a game, and hell, even one time, he dropped 30 on, on the team. So, yo... Chris Dunn stats me going down, D. Rose and putting up 20 plus. Can can Chris Dunn even keep his starting spot? Hey, hey, we we gonna find out towards the end of the season. But anyways, you guys, while we're here, Ben Simmons is actually third or fourth in the All Star. I mean, in the MVP voting. So he's been doing all right. His stats are kind of low, uh, scoring wise. But yo, he's being versatile. He's being that that he's being that guy and Chris Dunn is second in the running for most improved player but a lot of things have changed and if you guys want to see more of this series please make sure you go ahead and slap that like button and subscribe for more a lot of a lot of different series and stuff on this channel so let's get straight into all-star weekend starting things off we're gonna sim through the rising star challenge because i just feel like this that this is honestly bullshit there's really no point in doing it but anyways as far as stats go a lot of our players did play really, really well, like Harry Giles, uh, like Chris Dunn, and, and, and all those young players did, did play well. But hopping into the slam dunk contest, I am going to pull up the CPU play it because 2K, I don't, I don't want to play the dunk contest. That shit is in no way appealing to me. But we do have two of our players in it. We have Jason Tatum and Josh Jackson. So this should be a very, very interesting slam dunk contest. All these guys can dunk. We got Mar, we got Marquise Chris, Rondé Hollis, all these guys in here. But hopefully one of our guys can take home the chip. I mean, we have a two out of four chance. A two, we have a 50% chance of one of our players getting this trophy. So starting it off with Marquise Chris with his basic ass slam. Ah, uh, yeah, I was kind of pushing that. It wasn't that basic, but I think that we can do better. So we're gonna go ahead and skip over to our first contestant, which is Josh Jackson. He's only averaging like five points a game, but he's starting it off, and that's, that's, that's all right, I guess. I think you could have done better. Here's Jason Tatum up for his first dunk of the evening. Look what he does, throwing it up with the reverse slam. Okay, okay, so starting it off, Everybody's pretty much tied at 40. Marquise Chris goes up with the second dunk, gets another 40. Rondé Hollis Jefferson goes up with his dunk, and he gets a 40, even though I'm pretty sure he copied my dunk. But here's Josh Jackson. Look look at that slam, though. Look at that slam. Anyways, up is Jason Tatum. Let's see what he got to bring to the table. Throwing it up. Didn't Marquise Chris do, do that the first time? But anyways, Chris does have the one-point lead on Jackson. Going up with his dunk, he gets a 42. So you already know that Josh Jackson has some stuff to prove. He has to get a slamming dunk, and that's exactly what he does with that slam right there. Losing his balance with a, with a score of 47, so he's obviously in that lead right there. So Jason Tatum up with a 37 on, on his last, and that's really terrible. So right now, he's just at the point where he's copying dunks. But in the end, our boy Josh Jackson takes home the slam dunk winner as a rookie. As a rookie, he wins the slam dunk contest. So heading into All-Star Weekend, we are going to send most of it. But I do want to hop in most, mainly because I'm looking at the way Chris Dunn is playing. He has 16 points and 4 assists. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump in this game, starting it off with Chris Dunn going all the way to the right, drawing that foul, and won. And one, so we're gonna go straight up to the line for the three point play. But y'all, y'all, can he make it though? That's the thing. Can he go ahead and can he make it? And he barely does. But, anyways, if you guys are enjoying this series, please make sure to go ahead and look at this crazy slam from PG. That's what I like to see Jimmy Butler with that easy alley you. But if you guys want to see more of this series, just make sure to go ahead and slap that like button and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. I always love seeing and interacting with y'all's comments, so just keep it going. But here we go, Chris Dunn to Andre Drummond. 
I'm telling you, the East is finally becoming leveled out to the West. Because for the longest, the, le the West has just been outstandingly better. But the East is starting to play catch for a little bit. But in the end, we went 107 to 98. Chris Dunn was the All-Star Game MVP, finally taking it away from Russell Westbrook. He dropped 20 points along with five assists. And then our boy Ben Simmons had 12 and nine. So yo, everybody's pretty much doing that part and I and I honestly love it. So anyways, yo, this is the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And now Ben Simmons is third in the MVP voting, but I'll catch you guys later. Peace, y'all.